Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Boric, and this is going to be a quick video recapping the Colorado Eagles smacking around the Henderson Silver Knights in the AHL postseason to no fault of, <clears throat> really, at, to, to zero fault of uh, Yuri Patera, who's really continued to step up for the Knights. It's just the Knights to the Colorado Eagles were not even there. It's just... The, the Knights honestly do deserve a claps up, though, for being this new of an AHL squad, being able to have this good of a season, because Logan Thompson's a stud. Patera looks like he's a very good developing netminder as well. So to have those things building, obviously, in Cage, you got a six-round pick from Patera, a, a undrafted kid from Thompson that both look like they can be good catch for you going forward in net, that's huge. But when it comes to the Eagles side, they got youngsters, they got veterans. Foodie was one of the youngsters that scored in game one. Magna scored twice, just missed a hat trick a couple times. Uh, Mikel Maltsev, who just hit over his 100th game, I think, this season, uh, was able to pot one. And then Kiefer Shearwood, the veteran of the AHL, was able to pot one as well. So you had the two veterans, Shearwood and Magna. Magna, the long version, a long veteran, excuse me, being able to. Um, extend the lead there by two before anybody else was even able to get a goal, which was Cotter to be able to answer back for the Silver Knights at that point. But then Foodie answered back only moments later. Berchi was then the other AHL veteran for the Silver Knights, was able to answer back only moments later. But then they sealed the deal with two empty net bids at the end, which was the Malsev and Shearwood goals. And Eustace Anunin also played very solid in cage for the Colorado Eagles, the developing netminder that eventually likely will be a backup for the Colorado Avalanche and then try to work his way up from there. But we can go on now to game numero dos. As in game two, the Colorado Eagles were able to take down the Henderson Silver Knights by the score of 5-2. to two. As, um... <laughs> Does it seem like there is a repeat theme here? 5-2 in the first game, 5-2 in the second game in Loveland, Colorado, as the Henderson Silver Knights were just not able to push strong enough in this series. But it's it's not an unexpected series. They were 0-5 for 5 on the power play in this game. Their power play let them down. The special teams really screwed the Knights in this series and really aided the Eagles as they went 2-5. for 5. <clears throat> um, And were able to score two goals in the second game. And also scored, if I remember correctly, on the PP in the first game, where Bukic and Kalt, uh, the younger kids, were able to step up in this one and score goals for them uh, on the PP. So, I mean, obviously when you're getting scoring, Stefan Mateo, who is a veteran of the league, was able to step up. Bukic also got an apple on that. Foodie had a great series, scored again. Wagner then sealed it with an empty net as a hawk. And uh, Dor Doroviev were the only two to score for the Knights. But the Knights... Let's put it in perspective here. They're building a good squad there. The Golden Knights are building a good squad at the NHL over that continuously to find this good C+. Plus. And I'm not talking about just what anything C+, plus to B- minus to B-level prospects. They keep finding these guys that they actually start at C-level, get them to C+, plus, get them to B-. minus. And if you're continuing to do that, Thompson's even one of those guys you would label. When he got first drafted, he's probably a C-plus goaltender prospect. Now is definitely at least in the B category. And then Patera was probably a C-plus as well, and now is already probably in at least the B-minus category. So these they're moving these guys up really quickly there. So they you got to deserve a claps up for them for what they did. But when it comes to the Eagles, they got prospects that or would be on NHL teams in some other systems, like Martin Cow, for example. Foodie might even get more NHL time. We'll probably have got more NHL time on some other rosters that are not deep, like, for example, if he was on the Flyers organization, because the Avalanche just have a lot of people up already. But that's not here nor there. In Game 2, uh, Patera did everything... Um, he could have again, but Eustace Anunin was able to come out with another good game. The Eagles were solid defensively in front of them and great offensively. So the Colorado Eagles take both games 5-2 to two against the Henderson Silver Knights. Hats off to the Knights for having a great first season, but bigger hats off for the Eagles to be able to not get upset by a team that definitely was playing with that big underdog mentality, not having much belief in them because they're the newer AHL team. Battled well in the series, but you're just not able to get over the hump. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe. Please subscribe down below. Up above in the EGD's widget to keep us growing to the goal of 250 or more by the start of June.